Um, okay, uh, my name's Paul, and uh, this is Jeff. We, uh, we're British, we promise not to swear, but we don't do that, that's fine. So, um, top 10 tips for retrospectives. We've, over the years, we've seen some um, terrible retrospectives, um, really terrible retrospectives. Um, so we thought we won't talk about that, we're going to talk about good retrospectives. Stuff that goes well. I'm going to talk about the first five, Jeff's going to tell you the second five. Here we go. They're very short, that's it, easy to remember, we hope. They're all three words long. Number one, a good venue. Um, uh, unsurprisingly, uh, people we've seen always stay in the same place, do the same retrospectives every time. The best retrospectives we've been involved with have generally been in places outside the office. So go to the pub, go to a restaurant, go out for lunch, wherever it might be. Get outdoors, go to the park, go to the beach. The venue makes, plays a huge part in how, um, how honest people will be if they're in a different environment, a more informal environment. Uh, that's the first one, a good venue. The second one, uh, get people moving. Movement, right? So get people standing up. We've seen some great um, sessions here which involve getting people moving around the room. We all know that moving around increases the, the flow of oxygen, the, around the, of the, the blood around the body, gets people thinking easier, more easily, and just changes the it gets more energy back into the session itself. Food and drink. You're expecting people to sit in a room for probably two hours, maybe three, maybe more hours. Uh, they're going to get thirsty. You don't want them leaving the room every five minutes to get a drink. And it can also act as an incentive to get people there on time. Freshly made good coffee, right? Proper food. And stay away from the chocolate, all that type of thing. Keep it quite fresh. Um, but that can play a huge part in a good retrospective as well. State the purpose. The best retrospectives we've run or been involved in is where a scrum master has come in and said, We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about motivation, teamwork, creativity, whatever that might be. If you can get people's attention in the first 10 minutes, you'll keep them there for the rest of two hours. Okay, so having a really compelling goal is a really good idea. And my last one, metaphor. Some people really think that they're not creative people. You're, you're looking to inspire people to be creative in this retrospective session. So suggesting different ways of thinking accesses different parts of the brain. If this sprint was an animal, what animal would it be? Okay, and then you can sort of start talking about why. why. Why would it be that animal? And you can get people open up in different ways. Thank you. Let people play. <coughs> Yesterday I went to Ralph's session on nonviolent communication. Great session. I've been with Ralph's here, but well done, Ralph. Uh, one of the things Ralph said yesterday, he believes retrospectives are working meetings, and I fully agree. Uh, doesn't mean we can't have fun at work, though. Doesn't mean we can't play. And one of the best ways to increase people's creativity, get people's engagement, um, and make them feel safe is to turn work into a little bit more of a playtime um, while still getting stuff done. Encourage healthy conflict, self-organizing teams, coming to consensus, any sense of uncertainty or lack of resolution when a decision hasn't been made. That ambiguity causes anxiety within people. And so self-organizing teams often prematurely come to consensus just to close out that anxiety. As a, as a facilitator, as a coach, perhaps as a scrum master, encourage healthy conflict. Let people know that it's okay to disagree and help them practice disagreeing on something safe. Perhaps even set something up as an exercise where we are deliberately going to disagree with people's opinions, just so that we know it's okay and we can get used to it. We actually open up more opportunities with disagreement than we do with premature consensus. Keep things varied. One of the biggest, well, the two biggest concerns we hear about retrospectives are it's very hard to get people engaged and keep people engaged, and it's also very hard to keep coming up with new ideas for retrospectives, and so they often fall into asking the same questions every time. Keeping things varied, keep people interested. <coughs> Interesting, that could be changing the location, like Paul said. Bear in mind, Paul is an alcoholic, and so going to the pub is obviously going to be his first idea. Um, <laughs> but it could be changing the location, it could be changing the day, it could be changing the, 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 the attendees, maybe have a special guest, it could be changing the exercises, it could be changing how we capture information but just change something. Novelty is a good way of keeping people engaged and making sure that we have good results at the, at the end. Capturing information is useful. Facts are good, okay? Uh, but reflect on those facts. 
Find out what that means for us and others, makes it more powerful, makes change more likely to happen, and then actually make sure that this isn't just a bitch fest, okay? I swore. See ya. I'm no longer British. Um, Niels yesterday said, yeah, stop whining in these conferences. Well, stop whining in retrospectives as well. Make something happen, all right? Uh, encourage that however you can. Paul and I love retrospectives. We think retrospectives are awesome, um, and we think it, we want people to get more out of them. Like I said, we get people saying, yeah, but how do we keep these things interesting? Uh, and so we put a lot of work into this uh, over the years. And actually, we wanted to say a bit of a thank you for voting for this session uh, and for listening very politely, very British way. Um, so we thought uh, we've, got, we've got a few, a few discounted codes available for you on these flyers for a new retrospective course. If you're interested, grab them off Paul. There aren't many left. Thank you very much.